Huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the studio. A few weeks ago, I asked for some suggestions of what to draw for my mini sketchbook series, and several people suggested that I draw my dogs and tell their stories. I love that idea, and I could talk about my dogs for days, so I decided to do one video for each dog. I've got three dogs, so I'm gonna start with my first one named Ziva. To draw Ziva, I used a black wing pencil to sketch and a Sakura Pigma brush pen for the line work. As for color, I used Daniel Smith watercolors, M. Graham Artist Gouache, and Prismacolor colored pencils. I did struggle a bit with the coloring process because I went way too dark with the shadows, and then I tried to lighten it back up with gouache, and then I brought some texture in with colored pencils at the very end. Although the process wasn't very straightforward, I do like the end result, and I hope you enjoy watching me paint while I talk about Ziva. But before I start telling her story, let me tell you about the sponsor for today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in every creative field you can think of. Recently, they curated a list of classes taught by incredibly talented Black artists, and from that list, I have been taking Vashti Harrison's class on illustrating in Procreate. Vashti Harrison is a children's book illustrator, and I have seen her magical work before since I'm always searching for books with diverse characters to read to my son. The project for the class is to illustrate a childhood dream world. One day, I want to illustrate children's books as well, and this class was so helpful, not to mention fun and enjoyable. If you'd like to check out Skillshare for yourself, click the link in my video description for two free months of Skillshare Premium. After that, an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Thank you so much Skillshare for supporting artists and being an awesome community. Ziva or Ziva the Diva was adopted from the Humane Society all the way back in 2014. We don't know her exact age, but I'm guessing she's about nine years old now. The people at the Humane Society guess that she is an Australian cattle dog and corgi mix. Most of the time though, people ask if she's a fox when we're walking in the street. People will be like, hey, is that a fox? Your dog looks like a fox. It's hilarious. She was surrendered from her previous owner because of behavioral problems when she was about two years old. She still has behavioral issues to this day because she has a lot of anxiety and she's very high strung. Some of her triggers are pretty standard for dogs like thunder, fireworks, meeting strange dogs on a leash, motorcycles, vacuums, the doorbell, the postal worker, and so much more. Other things are definitely not so standard. She barks when I use my salad spinner, I guess, because she wants me to eat soggy salad. Um, she barks when I'm crushing garlic with the side of a knife. She barks when things are sizzling in a pan. And now that I say all this out loud, I just realized she does not like it when I cook. She barks when I put socks on because she gets super excited about going outside. And she has a lot to say. I often say she's made of 100% opinions. However, Ziva is also very emotionally attuned with me, and I absolutely love her for it. Whenever I'm upset, she will put her paws on me, sit up on her hind legs, and she'll put her forehead against mine. We'll sit like that for a while until I calm down. She would comfort me in that way when I had panic attacks during the worst phase of my depression last year, and when I was pregnant, she was ultra protective of me. She's not the biggest or fiercest looking dog we have, but I feel the safest when I'm with Ziva. Ziva is always there for me, and she's always following me around and sits by my feet. In fact, she's sitting by my feet right now, and she's perking her ears up every time I say her name, which is a lot. <laughs> she and I, I think, are very similar. 
We're both super opinionated, but we're also sensitive and vulnerable when we need to be. Ziva is kind of mad at me for adopting two other dogs, Cubby and Captain, but once in a blue moon, she does like to play with them. I'll talk more about Cubby and Captain later, but they are best friends and they love to play all the time. She tends to sit back and watch them play, but if things get out of hand, she will bark at them and then they'll stop. She's totally the boss. She likes to keep things under control. Her greatest enemies are raccoons, squirrels, cats, motorcycles, I think I mentioned that before already, skateboards, and Shiba Inus for some reason. She tolerates smaller dogs, loves to sunbathe, likes to eat bananas, apples, blueberries, and all kinds of meats, of course. Her favorite type of toys are ropes because she loves to play tug of war. She's also the only dog we have that actually plays fetch. <laughs> the other two will go after the toy, but they won't bring it back. Ziva loves playing fetch, and she is so good at bringing back the toy. And when I say Ziva is a diva, it is completely true, because whenever it rains, she refuses to get her paws wet. She doesn't like to get her paws muddy, and she walks on the driest parts of the yard because we have like a little awning on the side. <laughs> Meanwhile, our other two dogs are rolling around in the middle of the yard in the biggest mud pit. If I'm petting the other dogs, she will butt in and nudge my hand with her head until I end up petting her. She loves to go on a walk where it's just me and her, so I try to give her that special time all by herself whenever I can. Ziva is so special to me. She's basically the dog version of me, and I'm the human version of her. We both have some sort of anxiety, we're both super opinionated, but at the same time, we are sensitive and vulnerable. And I just feel a really special connection with her, more so than the other dogs, because Cubby is more so my husband's special person and then captain is actually my sister's dog who lives with us so um yeah ziva is my she's my dog you know she's my girl and i just love her so much and that is it for my sketchbook page and also for ziva's story i want to know all about your pets and i want to hear about their personalities and your special connection to them if you don't have any, what kind of pet would you like if you could have one? Alright, thanks so much for watching this episode of my mini sketchbook project. I can't wait to draw the next dog. Until then, happy journaling, happy art making, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and here is some footage of Siva.